All right, you're gonna wanna get excited because we're taking mason jars and string art and combining them into mason jar string art. a board, a template, hammer, nails and tape. The nails I'm using are wire nails and they are one inch long. And then the secret to string art to make it easy, drill. So what I like to do is pre-drill all of the holes. I'm not good at hammering. I can't get them all to look straight and even. And so I like to pre-drill my holes. You don't want to drill clear through your piece of wood. Right, that would be bad. And so what you can do is you can put a little piece of paint or tape on the end of your drill bit as a stopper. And so that way you know that you go through your wood until you hit where you've painted. We're going to tape the mason jar onto your board. That I'm going to keep it on the bottom of my board because I want to put flowers into my string art and so they'll need a place as well. So the flowers will go up here, the jar is at the bottom. Next step, you can drill your holes. You can eyeball it or you can mark all of the dots that you want to do first. You're going to want your holes to be about half inch to an inch apart. A quarter of an inch is going to be too close together. It makes wrapping a little bit harder and it uses a lot more nails. When you drill, you want to go straight up and down. over here where I've started to drill the holes. You're going to do that for the whole mason jar. So go ahead and do that. Got most of my holes drilled in. I know that my holes aren't spaced evenly because I didn't mark it and if that bothers you, you can mark yours. But most people won't know. Our next step in our project is going to be to nail in the nails. Now you can either remove your template and then nail in the nails, or you can nail right on top of it and it's up to you. It's easier to remove it now, but then it's harder to see where your lines are. So you can kind of gauge which you would prefer. I'm gonna leave mine on. When you nail it in, you're not gonna wanna nail your nail completely in because you need to be able to wrap your string around it. So nail it in about a fourth of an inch. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely sticking out enough that we can put in a string. And so I'm going to nail all along my mason jar. Starting to take shape. What you're wanting to look for as you nail things in is that they are consistently the same height and that they are secure. They're not gonna fall out when you turn it over and they're going to be able to hold string wrapped around them. So I'm gonna keep on going. I realized a few things as I was hammering. First off, my nail holes were closer together than I first anticipated. So if I were to do it again, I would probably spread them out even more because it meant for a lot more hammering. I ran out of nails in my nail pack and had to use a second package of nails and that might not have happened if I had them spread out more. So here's what we're at. Okay, and now it's time to wrap the string. Again, it's up to you if you want to remove your template at this point or wrap first. With the mason jar, there are lines that represent the twist in the top of the jar. And so I'm gonna leave my template on so I know which lines connect because not all of them go all the way across and I don't want to bring my string across. I'm just using this twine. To start, you're going to tie it to a nail. I got it tied to that nail and then you're going to wrap just from one nail to the other to the other. Might be hard to see. This is a little bit different than regular string art. Regular string art, you would go across your image and fill it in with string. But with the mason jar string art, we want it to look like an 
a jar or clear on the inside. And so we're not going to use the string on the inside. We're going to use the string as an outline. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap my mason jar. Okay, so I'm back to the beginning. I've done one wrap around the very outside edge. And you can see where the string is of my nails. Now I want it to be pretty pronounced, so I'm gonna go around that outside edge again, and then I'm going to do the details of the shimmer parts of the jar and the screw parts of the jar. And those I might just do with one string, so I'm just gonna play it by ear and see how that goes. Okay, so I used my twine and I wrapped all the nails following the lines of my template so I know where they go. You'll notice that you have a bunch of random strings hanging off for where you tie on and off and you'll just want to weave those in. I'm going to go ahead and remove my template. You might need some uh, pliers or tweezers to get in those small spaces to get all that paper out. Okay, I think I got all the paper out and you can see all the strings and we're just going to tie, weave goes in and I can cut off the ones that are really long. If you feel like when you're weaving them in that they're not going to stay, you can just use a dot of hot glue and kind of tuck it up under and glue it down. I'm going to weave the rest of those in later. We're going to cut the flowers. So that they look cute sitting in our mason jar. So I could put them in like this, one big bunch, but I want to slide them in one by one so it looks like we have picked more flowers. I'm just going to use wire cutters and cut them down here, kind of near the base. So I cut off about four. What I'm going to do is just take them, slide them down in, in between the nails so it looks like there are flowers in my jar. It would be especially fun if you had wildflowers in your yard and you picked those and you put those in. So that's my ultimate goal. but. It's not quite that season yet, so I'm going to have to improvise. There we go! Super cute. I love how it comes together. So this is the mason jar string art. And we have done the string art, put flowers in, and it's good to go. It would look super cute sitting on a bookshelf or even as a neighbor gift. There's lots of fun things that you can do with it. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial today on Sugar Bee Crafts. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty and DIY tutorials to walk you through step by step how to complete your projects. So I'm really liking how this project came out. I think it's fun and easy and cute, appeals to lots of different people. So I hope you enjoyed crafting with me today with our mason jar string art.